Hi, I'm Sebastian Copeland, and I would like to take you on a journey. Even up here in northern Greenland, and in spite of the low population density, plastic litter is found anywhere, on the coastline and trapped in the ice. But what if there was no trash to waste? That's the idea behind circularity. In this episode, I'm going to look at how Audi is reducing and avoiding waste by recycling, by reusing and second life initiatives, by making lasting products. In short, by closing the loop on waste. So come on, let's go find out. Teresa, circularity is a terminology that is becoming really key in the sustainability philosophy. Can you explain what it means to Audi in general? Mm -hmm. So circularity is for Audi to close the loops wherever possible along the entire product life cycle. And we want to achieve it through the three main pillars, reduce, reuse, and recycle. And for these three R's, the enabler is the design. That's really interesting. So at the design stage, you start to plan already what's going to happen at the end stage. Can you tell me, walk me through the steps of how that works, for instance, in, through the various materials? At Audi, we are working in a hotspot-based approach. We are focusing on five different material streams. Steel, aluminum, polymers, glass, and the battery. And together with our suppliers, we are working hand in hand on introducing circular materials wherever possible. And I have to imagine that must be very complicated. You know, everyone has to rethink how to work, how to design the parts for our new generation of cars. That's super important because we have to take a look um, along the entire product life cycle. And that's, that's quite a challenge. And do you work with outside partners on this? Yes, we have a lot of outside partners and we need all these partners because circularity can only be solved together. So we have partners from the research, uh, from the recycling industry and supply chain. And can you walk me through some of the loops and how these are engineered? We are often approaching the loops through pilot projects and then want to move more and more into serious production like we did in the glass loop, for example. Mm -hmm. There, we are recycling broken windshields, which cannot be repaired anymore. And the glass shards are then used for new windshields again. Mm. And Audi is the first automotive manufacturer, which is closing the loop on balance for post-consumer glass. And this innovative process is implemented in the Audi Q4 e-tron. And aside from glass, what other uh, recycling projects are you working on? One main project is our material loop project. It is an end-of-life recycling project and together with 15 partners from all over the industry, we try to recycle materials and parts of 100 end-of-life vehicles as good as possible. For example, regarding steel, we produced up to 15,000 Audi A4 inner door parts with a post-consumer content of 12%. Mm. And this content, the material, the post-consumer material, is coming straight from end-of-life vehicles of the Material Loop project. And through this project, we gained a lot of new knowledge about circular economy in general and design for circularity in specific. And we successfully finished this project and are now ready to make the next step. 